So tell them a little bit about how you became a rabbi in Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, it was just, it was very much against our will. <laughs> we were elders. Any elders here? Okay. Wow. Say again? <laughs> Old people? <laughs> anyway, so may this not happen to you. So, uh, but the rabbi at, at Mishkan David in Rhode Island just said that we're moving to Haiti because the Lord has called us there. And they told the elders and us at the same time, Brian and Sue will, are now the rabbi of Rebbe of the congregation. Bye. <laughs> that was pretty much it. Anyway, it took us about a year to kind of kind of work our way into the role. We didn't really want to do it, but we suffered through it. But um, after, we, we just hit our sixth anniversary of being Rabbi in Robinson, and it really is, it's a wonderful experience. So if you're ever in Rhode Island, you can visit Mishkan David Messianic Jewish Synagogue, and just an inch north of, of Providence, really about 15 miles or so north of Providence. So anyway, thank you all for being here. You guys really yes. love being on the left, I can see. <laughs> There's a whole lot going on on the left. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're the one that's overtired. I think. I, I, yes, exactly. So I just want to thank uh, Rabbi Todd yes. and, and SF for having us here again. It's yes. such a blessing. And thank you, Janiel, for all the work that you did to, yes. uh, to enable this to happen and yes. call all these other congregations to get us a couple of, uh, a couple of bookings here. So we're, we're very grateful to be here uh, with you all. So we are just going to focus our attention on the Lord, and yes. we're going to give him the praise and the glory yes. and the honor. One more thing. And, and we're going to start worshiping the Lord after one thing. One thing. Yeah. We want to thank you guys yeah. from the bottom of our hearts. Oh, that's true. As a congregation, because we now have your uh, former Torah scroll. Are you guys, are you aware of that? So, one so of we've got a couple. Former, yeah. So, some of them are aware. Yeah. So there is a Torah scroll that, that you, uh, the congregation owned, I'm, I'm not I think the one that you were using weekly, apparently. And I put out a request on the rabbi's forum because we were looking for a Torah scroll. And, and Rabbi Todd answered it, said, you know, we have a Torah scroll. And uh, we wound up purchasing uh, the Torah scroll from this congregation. So we were very, very, very blessed. Very and blessed. Uh, went through, we went through a little renovation. And uh, we worship and celebrate with it every week. And we're very grateful for that. Yes. So our hearts are are bound to yours and to this congregation through that word and through that scroll. You'll have to tell them later about your family thing, but let's get started here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Why don't we stand up? Yep. Hallelujah. Wake Zion. Yeah. 
into this world and naked I shall depart from it. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Even so, blessed, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. This is our sacrifice of praise. We will worship you, Father. We will honor you throughout every situation and every circumstance because you are on the throne. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a repeat type of song we sing you sing so Seuss is gonna say I will lift and you will go I will lift and she will go I will lift and you will go I will lift and she will go I'm my boy and you will go I'm my boy <laughs> we're, we're taking you on the road <laughs>
are worthy of all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Every breath that we have, every moment that we live is for you and only for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, whenever there's any level of of, of, of conflict or spiritual battle that, that I we experience in my life or experience in the congregation or experience as, as I'm, I'm talking to friends and family. You know, the one prayer, the one prayer in Scripture that continues to come back into my spirit to say when there is battle going on is from our beautiful Torah. And it says, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Amen. And may those that hate you flee from before you. It kind of says it all. <laughs> Ask God to arise and his enemies to be scattered. It's, it's just a perfect, simple, simple prayer. So let's just pray that together. We all kind of go through battle in our own ways, in our own lives. And God brings trial into our lives to, to grow us and to, and to, and to cause us to, to reach for him and to... And to grow more into the image of his son because that's that's what he has us doing growing into the image of his son when we have Yeshua in our hearts you know but when there is battle when there is battle we can always say that you know it's as much as our Jewish heritage to speak out that prayer when we're in battle as it is to wear our talits and to come to synagogue on Shabbat it's part of our heritage as sons and daughters of God it's in the Bible it's in the Torah to speak that out to declare it into the atmosphere rise O Lord Rise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Adonai. May it be so. Yeshua's name. Oh 
Arise in our situation. Praise you, Lord. Praise you. Arise in our midst. Praise your name. Praise your name. Arise in our communities. Yes, I do. Arise in our marriages. Praise you, Lord. Arise in our children. Arise in their hearts, O God. Arise. appreciated the testimony of Mr. Keller. I didn't get your first name, sir. Cliff. Cliff, yeah. So this, you know, you know the, the crazy thing is like there are bombs going over in Israel right now. You know, I don't see a single report on the American news about it. It's really, it's really unfortunate. But I guarantee if, 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 if Israel did something, you know, and lobbed some bombs over in, in Gaza, you'd certainly see it on the news. And it's, it's, a, it's a tenuous situation right there. So let's use this time and, and the song that we're going to sing to lift up the nation of Israel together. I, my mother lives in Beersheba, and I literally just got a, a WhatsApp from her as, I, as we were doing the sound system. She said, she said it's 2 a.m. there, and the sirens are going off, and we have to go into our shelter. Just got that as we were setting up here. So it's, it's, it's very real. you know. But God's plans for Israel are so amazing. So amazing. So amazing. And they will look upon the one. They will look to God, to the one about regarding the one that they've pierced, and they will mourn. And a fountain of forgiveness will flow from Jerusalem. The promises of Israel are, 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 can, cannot be taken away. The gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. Praise the Lord. And, you know, we, we use that term. We use that scripture. The gifts and callings of God are irrevocable. We use that for ourselves. But if you go back into scripture, it's about Israel. Amen. Amen. It's about Israel. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's lift up a prayer. These next two songs are about the land of Israel. So let's, let's pray and sing this out together. Lift up a prophetic voice. Oh, I'm 
Sukkot and like Hanukkah is right here you know I, and it's just when you just look at the calendar and you just see how things you know you, you celebrate a holiday and it's beautiful and another one is upcoming and it just reminds you that time is short you know time is short and you know it is short I just a few months ago I, I turned 50 and you know and you get to realize that you know time time is short time is short and, and, and every day is a blessing. It's, it's a blessing to be here in this, in yes. this time, in this season, because the Lord is doing so much in this, in this world, and he has us here for a purpose. And just make our days count, you know? And, and the more time goes by, the more I'm like, I don't know, make my days count and not just yes. be, you know, countless. Yes. That's the right thing to say. You know, make, it count, make the days count for something. Oh, countless is a good word. We would like yeah, we days, want to be countless. We know our yes. days are countless. <laughs> That's, in that way, countless. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yes. So anyway, so bless the Lord. Thank you all for having us. Yes. And um, we wish you blessings from Rhode Island and from the congregation, which bears your Taurus girl and <laughs> runs around with it like crazy people week after week. And are so grateful for you. And thank you so much, Rabbi Todd and, and, and SF, um, for having us here. We really, really appreciate it. Yes. Um, so as we come out of Sukkot and enter into Hanukkah, we were going to... Sing a song about Passover. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, I gotta get the tracks ready. Praise the Lord. It's always a good day to celebrate our deliverance, yes, right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we don't even have to eat gefilte fish. <laughs> <laughs> or matzah. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> I love gefilte fish. <laughs> Get built a bit? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>
Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.